Okay, multiple attempts at this video. It's, uh, I'm just self-critiquing myself, seeing that I have certain mannerisms that I don't like. I can I can only imagine I'm driving certain people crazy, you know, and you know, annoying them. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to try this video again. This is uh, about nursing assistants. Um, a commenter had said or asked me um, if you could talk about your time as a nursing assistant. I guess it was a surprise to him that I was a nursing assistant before I was a nurse. Um, that was my entry into the industry. Uh, I come from a business background, manufacturing business background, 30 years, so knew nothing about healthcare. You know, aspirin to Tylenol, no idea the difference. Syringe to a flush, no idea. You know, uh, uh, different doctors. I didn't know what a resident was. I didn't know what an attending was. I did, didn't know anything about it. You know, nurses, what? I, Hollywood, that's all I knew about it. So um, I was able to get a job as a nursing assistant on the unit I'm still on, actually. I got hired as a nursing assistant and then finished nursing school and got hired onto the unit. Uh, I, I talk about that episode that instance in another very early video about ageism. Um, it was definitely, I did definitely experience ageism, uh, bias against my age as I was trying to get a job. Uh, I mean, you know, here I am a CEO, you know, it looks a little odd on the resume trying to get a job as a, a, a nursing assistant or whatever, whatever kind of assistant. I was like, I'll take whatever job. I'm not afraid of, you know, work. You know, I've cleaned toilets and, and swept floors. Yes, it was for my own business, but it was my employees' poop or whatever I was cleaning up. And they didn't know any better. They didn't know who I was. There were times people didn't know who the heck I was. And I like that because it gives me a, a, an air of anonymity, whatever. I was anonymous to them, you know. I, I could hear better information. Uh, I just mentioned this to my brother, who was my partner for a number of years, actually. Uh, and then he, he split off. Um, I had brought him in. He was actually an attorney. But we were talking about information being a multi-billion dollar industry of its own. I'm not talking about internet. I'm talking about consultancy. You pay for information. And, and we did, business-wise. Not to get too far off the track, but that's actually an aspect of being a nursing assistant that is very valuable to the nurse. Now that I'm a nurse, I can gauge how I was as a, a nursing assistant. And I wasn't a very good nursing assistant, objectively speaking. Subjectively speaking, I always make that differential in the, in the job. Objective is, you know, you're, you're, you're charting, you're, you're, you're med-giving, your procedures, very, you know, definable stuff. Subjective is more interpersonal relationship, rapport, trust, um, that, that sixth sense, something's up, you know, that kind of thing. That's more subjective. Uh, I like to pride myself that I'm much better at that than I am objective. I think, I, I think I'm good at objective, good enough to, to not hurt anybody, but subjective is where I excel at. And that separates me from other nurses and, and lets me make up some of the difference between me and the much better nurses. Uh, I still rate myself in a, as an average nurse. And, and I know many nurses on our unit who were nursing assistants or UAs or whatever that are amazing nurses. They're much better than I am. I've said it to them right to their face. And I've, I've, I've said it to the educator. I said, no, no, uh, XYZ is much better nurse. They're foundational nurses, what I call them. Um, they're foundations that our unit builds upon. So, and one of the reasons for that is that they had the training as a nursing assistant beforehand. So that's why I'm also touching on, on the subject and putting video out there is that I do highly recommend that as a training route. I mean, somebody else had asked, you know, what's the best? And I was route before going to full-fledged full, full RN. And I said, you know, realistically, it's it's LPN. You're doing 90% of the work. You get, I think, I, I'm pulling this number out of my, my, my ass. It's like 
40% of the training, you know, because I, I, I picked that number because LPNs come in at, I think, nursing two and then finish nursing three and four with us, you know, if they go to, for their full RN. So I'm just picking a number like that. I think they come in nurse, finish nursing two, three, four, and then they can test for their R, R, N, R, RN NCLEX. They take their own NCLEX. There's an LPN NCLEX. That's the best route, in my opinion, because you're doing the work as a, a nurse already. Just, just only certain things you can't do. Barring that, because that's more expensive, a lot more time. You, you go to school for basically, I think, an average of a year. I've heard six months. I've heard over a year. I've heard a year. I, I've dated a couple of LPNs in my time before I was a nurse, and I had varying inform, uh, varying stories of their training so I, I i don't want to say i'm sure it depends on the school the 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 state uh the region the facility and all that stuff okay your mileage may vary in other words right um but that's the best route the second best route is being a nursing assistant and i i, I stand by that because my my, my daughter is a going to be a neuro icu nurse she's starting in a few days actually and I have a very good friend on the unit. Her daughter was her, her classmate, my daughter's classmate, and they both got their RNs basically at the same time. She came through the route of a nursing assistant and is gonna start on our unit. I think she, the daughter of my friend, is much better prepared to be a bedside nurse than my own daughter, okay? She could blast me, that's fine. And you know, I, 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 she knows I speak my point of view of truth. I'm not gonna pull punches. I don't lie to you guys. I tell you guys, everything you hear from me is the truth, from my point of view at least. I'm, I'm not saying it's accurate. I'm not, don't, don't, don't be you know, saying, hey, I heard that on, on Ray's channel. I heard uh, on Old Dad Nurse's channel. I'm gonna do it. No, 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 no. Confirm it with, with a real source like, you know, a registered nurse uh, RN, you know, Sarah there. She's, she's very good. You could, there's, there's, there's a dozens of other real YouTuber nurses that have much more experience than me and much more qualified and can answer objective technical questions. I'm an idiot. I can tell you stories and show you how it is to be an old nurse that starts new. Uh, but that's my opinion is that my, my friend's daughter is better trained to be a bedside nurse. Now, that all said, I, I had a previous video also on this about an ICU versus med surge. Um, my daughter's ICU experience will make her a better nurse in the end. My, my friends, uh, my coworkers, the, the mother of the, the new nurse, um, other, other nurses, they're like, oh, proud papa. She's going to be ICU nurse better than you. I was like, she's already better than me. But ICU nurses are, in my opinion, the best trained levels. That is, I, I, that's my personal opinion. People can argue with that. That's fine. I always, since my first video till now, I always keep the position that the best certification is CCRN. Um, again, I, I don't mean to get too far off the track, but I want you guys to understand that I, I really do believe nursing assistant is a very good route into the profession because you get to see all levels of what's going on on the unit. And that's why I, I, I said that little side about me working as basically a janitor, as floor super, and toilet cleaner for my own company because I got to hear stuff that my father, when he was a CEO, never heard. Uh, other operations managers in between our time never knew. I, 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 and I learned the business under a number of different people, good, bad, whatever, indifferent, until I ran it. Information is king. For a nurse, too, it's very, very critical. And that's why nurses the doctors rely on nurses to provide information guess who we provide we, we we count on is the nursing assistants who is spending time with the patient because the patient is the fount of the knowledge you just got to collect it sometimes the patient doesn't say accurate things and you i'm sure you guys seen memes about it you know patient will say one thing to us something else to the doctor and vice versa same thing with the nursing assistant but they're there, they're cleaning their butts much more than we are. You know, they're doing the heavy lifting. They're feeding them more often than we are. They're changing them more often. They're walking them more often than us. We do that too. 
but the nursing assistants are our assistants. They're doing the lion's share of that. When we're doing meds, they could do that. When we're charting, they can do that. I mean, they're spending a lot more time with the patients than we are, than, than we do. So I rely very heavily on my nursing assistants for grapevine information, you know, seeing what's going on. So I want you guys to understand that nursing assistants are a very, very valuable resource. They're very valuable team members. I respect them. I was one myself. So I have that point of view. Um, the nurse, a lot of the nursing assistants I work with now are were the ones that trained me. You know, they're happy to see that I've climbed the ladder and, and there isn't a hierarchical thing. And I'll get to that very shortly. And, and you know, but I, I, I've not pulled rank. I've only pulled rank maybe two or three times and twice with the same person. That person is no longer with our organization because they needed that talking to. It wasn't me that that did it. I don't have the authority to can them. Uh, that came from much higher up than me. But they needed that. And I and they were friends. I was friendly with them. I said, look, don't make me pull rank with you. What are you, what are you doing? I need you to do this. Don't do that. <laughs> Whatever, you know, you have to you have to talk with them. Um, we're, we're all adults. And that's that's really what I said to the person. I said, we're all adults here. Come on, we're, we're here to do a job. Let's do this. Um, and like I said, we were text together. We were nursing assistants together. We were a same level, but there is a pecking order and that hierarchical level sometimes is abused by nurses. I, you know, let's, let's be honest. Let's, let's be straightforward. I don't do that. You know, I, I had to because I was charged those times. Otherwise, you know, I honestly, I'll do, I'd rather do the work myself. And then I say, oh, fine, I'll do it. But as charge, I have a different responsibility. And I had to talk to that nursing assistant and straighten out. Totally different scenario. Charge is a whole nother video, a whole other stuff. But, you know, the hierarchy is very prevalent. I've always said healthcare is like high school on steroids. You got the administrators, the doctors, the, uh, the, the therapists, the nurses, uh, the nursing assistants, uh, environmental, dietary, uh, transport, whatever, you know, so on and so forth. There's, you know, whatever order that goes into. I, I just, you know, threw whatever titles in there, uh, responsibilities. Um, but unfortunately, it is something that's really quickly figured out. And, you know, it's like, okay, they're the popular kids. Uh, they're the cool kids. And then I'm the idiot. Okay. All right. I know where I am. You know, it's like, okay. As long as I know what the pecking order is and feeding is, I'm in, I'm the wildebeest. Okay. I got to run from the lions. Okay. And hyenas are going to bite my nuts off. Okay. Great. No, nah, you know, it is what it is. Um, and nursing assistants, unfortunately, are very often the wildebeest. You know, it's, it's just what it is. Or the antelope. Um, but the system wouldn't work very well without them. Would it work? Yeah, sure. Work, work without doctors, work without nurses, you know, whoever else would have to pick up the slack, you know, probably wouldn't work well with doc, without doctors. <laughs> you know, <laughs> actually you need orders. You need, you need someone to write the orders, but hey, you know, doctors can put in a Foley, put in an IV, and, you know, haven't done it since med school. You know, whenever somebody says, hey, I want the doctor to put in an IV, I was like, go right ahead, bye. And I'm just like, eh. You know, I've had old time nurses, like I haven't put in an IV since nursing school. That was 25 years ago. I am an RN, but you, only your name. You got to put that in. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, it's different when you're frontline versus back office, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but nursing assistants are the ones that make the lines go, the assembly line go, they're the forklift drivers, they're the lumpers. They are the ones that have to shovel the snow when it snows. You know, basically, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, you know, we, we do have environmental people and, and plant engineering for that. But they're the ones that really make the machine work on the unit. Um, you know, the mechanical parts, at least, you know, um, it's, it's, understated it's underappreciated 
Um, and it's very challenging. It's, it's a young man's sport. So, you know, when, when, when uh, the question came up, the post came up, I was like, look, I, I, this is my opinion. It's a great entry into the industry, but is it an easy entry? No, not at all. It's, it's difficult. Uh, it depends which angle you're coming from. If you're not afraid of schooling and whatever, LPN is probably the, the best way, in my opinion. Uh, but some people are afraid of the schooling. They're afraid that they, they don't want to commit a, another year of their life and, and find out they hate being a nurse or hate being uh, hate healthcare. You can do it very quickly through uh, a CNA program or uh, get some training on some program. It doesn't have to be a certified program and become a nursing assistant. Um, there is some back door ways like uh, me. I, I, I qualified because I was a first year uh, nursing student. That gives you enough qualifications. You finish your first semester, you can work as a nursing assistant, at least in my state. I mean, that's the board of nursing. Every board of nursing will be different. Um, and then you can see the dynamics of the unit and what's going on. Um, so that I hope answers that commenter's question or, you know, basically he was just like, you know, tell us about nursing assistants. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties of what a nursing assistant does. There's many videos out there that can tell you that. Um, I'll tell you what my flavor was and what I think is valuable as a, as a nursing assistant, as a nurse and a former nursing assistant, I'll tell you what is valuable, what I think is and why, you know. That, I hope that I got that across to you guys. If you have any questions, hopefully this video helped a little bit. If it need more, shoot me a message. I'm very open to answering questions, either reply, typing it out, or shooting a video. You know, it's great ideas for me. I love it. Okay, good luck.